See I'm at the mortuary with this so I don't go. See I'm. I don't go. I don't see my husband. See ya. Mm. <laughs> Police, they tell me yeah. say they no see him. Then they declare I'm missing. Now six bodies. Now they then discover. But now only one dead here now. So I don't know how they do my husband. Amo. I want you to listen to the wife of Sergeant Cyril Okeri. Uh, he was also part of the 19 police officers that were deployed at Ugeli. Listening to the wife, and you hear how the police, how she lost her baby in the middle of all these things, how they gave her her husband bag without her husband ATM card. <laughs> Nigeria, Nigeria, listen to the wife. Sir, good evening, sir. How are you doing? Hope you are good. Honestly, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just confused because let me just put it that way. I'm confused because I don't even know what to do right now. This is three months <laughs> and now. Yeah. I've not heard anything from the police. I'm the one calling them. I will call them call them they will be turning me upside down i even went to their office um when this incident happened i went to the office like i i don't know if you even count how many times that i went to their office like they will tell me come today come tomorrow they will tell me don't worry your husband will be okay your husband your husband maybe your husband uh, uh, travel to another state as the the, the matter hot this that this that i see oh God, i saw the picture of my husband dead body lifeless and you are telling me that uh, i should pray he will come back he will do this he will do that so that is that police turned me turned me turned me upside down till i called the last call i called them i said sir Please, I want to go to um, Ugele. I want to go to that place, mortuary. Let me go and look for my husband myself. Since you people are not serious to to give me the right answer or to bring my husband cuffs for me, I will go to Ugele myself. He now said, okay, that my you want to go to Ugele with your condition. I said, yes, I will go to I will go. Don't worry. I will be fine. God will protect me. And I said, okay, no problem. That is from police. So, and I said, okay, no problem. The next day, I traveled down to Ugele. I traveled down to Ugele. I went to the mortuary there. Inside the mortuary, I only saw one corpse. And that one there, a person owned, according to the mortuary attendant. Because I saw, the, I look at the face, it's not my husband. I cried. I said, God, why are these people doing me like this? So since that time up till now, they, 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 they know they call. They know, feel, they know they call me. They don't even know how I they survive and my baby. They know they call. Even right from when this thing happened, I'm the one calling them. They know they call me, honestly. So I told them that, okay, since... I know hear from my husband and I know say my husband is no more and when I know agree give me my husband cuffs and when I know agree tell me the actual thing will happen to my husband. Okay. In bag, my husband bag where you carry travel, where where the bag day? Honestly, where is the bag? So they now say I should wait that the person will then give the bag that they went to the operation together. So now the person I own with the bag. That the person traveled, that if the person come back, he will give me the bag. I say, okay, sir, no problem. I endure till I call the man again the uh, next week. I say, oh, guy, up till now, I've not heard anything from you guys. I say, oh, madam, you can come to the office now. I say, okay, no problem now. I I went there. So when I go to the office now, the my husband bag, we carry travel. Now me, the wife, go carry her from 
office. Just imagine, now me go carrying bag from office. When I check, so many things no day inside the bag. I which I know say that very day when they enter that bush, me and my husband do video call like. No be something where in go carry enter bush, you understand? But I lock up, I don't talk anything. I just forget about everything. But I check, I don't see my husband ATM card. His ATM card is not there. He's the one that expired. That is uh, 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 the expired ATM nine day inside the wallet. So I'm just like I asked the man, so so now Oga. This one now, my husband ATM card is not here. School have resumed. My daughter, she's still day house since that time till now. My daughter day house, she know the school. She know they go school because how am I going to pay the school fees? I'm just I'm just confused. I'm frustrated. Honestly, I don't even know what to do since that time till now. These people have not called me to ask me ask uh, madam how you will do with this ATM card or how, make a help una, her open the ATM yeah. card so that yeah. I would una, get access to your husband account since today nothing like I just did like that if 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 not be my family and my husband family that is be supporting me with sometimes they will be food for me from my husband people will be food for me from their side my mom will be her own that is um that is how I'm surviving here. If not by now, I for don't I for don't know where I did. Maybe I for don't go join my husband. Hmm? Every day my daughter could they cry. They ask me, Mommy, where is daddy? Mommy, where is daddy? I told her, if I even call her, talk, you you ask her now, she will tell you. I will tell I told her that daddy travel out. That pray for daddy. Daddy travel out to London. So I don't I don't really know what to do right now, honestly. I'm just confused. Three months and three months and now getting to four months. Nothing at all. Nothing. We have not heard anything from them.